Good morning if you're um, awake this time on a Sunday morning I'm down at Burley Beach and I'm just going to go for a bike ride along the Burley Beachfront. If you're awake you'd be fortunate enough to see what I'm seeing. Let me just show you by switching to the other camera. Okay, we are actually looking at a magnificent dawn. Look at the colours in the clouds there. Look at this. Incredible, isn't it? Just fantastic. This is at Burley Beachfront. Looking up towards Surface Paradise there. So, what I'm going to do is uh, hook the uh, camera onto the bike. And let's go for this morning's bike ride along. Ah, Jason, good morning. <laughs> let's go for this morning's bike ride along Burley Beach here. Okay, so it's been, uh, was it 13 kilometres ride up to here so far? Just going up past the um, Burley Surf Life Saving Club. The guys are going out with their skis. I'm just going to ride around to a but a vantage point to show you this dawn. Oh, that is spectacular. People out here everywhere with cameras taking photos of it. Let's just come around to, there's a vantage point. Just up here. So, right, let's swing the bike around here and check this out. That is magnificent. And Shannon is watching. Good morning, Shannon. Um, yes, very, very nice. Let's continue on our way along beautiful Burley Beachfront. We have four people awake at this time of the morning watching, which is wonderful. Okay, and what does Shannon say? Thanks for the reminder to get off Facebook and watch the sunrise. <laughs> well, you can do what I can, I'm doing. I'm on Facebook and watching the sunrise. Getting to both at the same time. So, that is spectacular. I took some photographs of it before I started filming. So, absolutely magnificent. So let's go for a ride along this fairly quiet uh, walkway that goes between Burley up to North Burley or Miami Hill. There's a beautiful park here on the left. I sound like a tour guide. They have uh, Sunday markets here once a month. Obviously not today because if it was today there would be store holders here everywhere. And there are some people out jogging, walking. Not many bike riders. I passed some on the road, road riders. But uh, not many on the... Yeah, not many out doing their thing. Now yesterday when I did my live recording, um, it took quite a while before I could actually get a strong enough mobile signal to go live, which surprised me because I was positioned down near the airport where I, I figured it would be a very strong mobile signal area. But uh, this morning I was able to go live immediately from my vantage point there at Burley. Now, the sun is getting closer and closer to breaking the horizon. So, let's see what we've got. Not sure how far I'm going to ride this morning. I'm up to 14 kilometres there. But, uh, up ahead here is a spot, I think, where I can take another look at the sunrise. So, just need to find this clear spot. And Jessica, good morning. Thank you for joining me as I head north along the bikeway, walkway through Burley 
going in the area. It's a little bit cool. I don't have a thermometer on this bike. I have ordered one. It's just definitely cooler than yesterday morning. Yesterday morning was uh, quite warm. This morning I actually had to have my balaclava on and a jacket over my jumper. And looking for a good spot where I can swing around and show you this storm where there's not many trees in the road. I might actually take the phone back off the phone mount so you can see it in a second. Uh, Charlotte has said, looks beautiful. Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Charlotte. Thanks for joining us. This is a reward you get for being up at this time of the day. It does depend what part of the world you're in might be in a part of the world where this is the middle of the day but for us here in Australia it's uh, 6.26 and a lot of sensible people are probably still sleeping <laughs> let's just swing around here just go back a little bit and take the temp the phone off the um, mount and let's see now that is what you call dawn have a look at that. Listen to the sound of the waves. How peaceful that is. Isn't that magnificent, folks? Look at the colours in the clouds there. And how can you not be in awe of Mother Nature when she paints this perfect uh, painting for us? It's a perfect picture. You really just got to stop and take it all in it's just magnificent uh, okay. really is fantastic makes you feel good to be alive so so what i'm going to do is uh right up to the next section take us past some different scenery so off we go that's some people at walking dogs a bit more people around here <laughs> nearly got collected by a guy on a bicycle then. Luckily I didn't. Would have been somewhat inconvenient. <laughs> Could have had a live recording of an accident. <laughs> uh, just riding along at 18 kilometers an hour at the moment. refreshing and okay thanks Shannon yes have a great day we'll have a great day Di says um, wow that is stunning um, I'm going to stop to read the rest of your message froggies was a bit was it froggies was a hang on I've got to stop I can't read this froggies was a bit pretty too Okay, um, I, I don't know the, which one is Froggies, is that, you live down Chugan, don't you? So is that, are you talking about the Chugan area? Um, yes, you'll have to tell me where. And Josie is watching, and because of the angle I've got the camera here, it's actually really hard to read longer um, quotes, so it's time oh wow oh, that's, hang on a second i'm going to stop here gotta to, gotta to show you this let's just try and find a spot here okay look at this jessica says thank you for sharing your morning ride by the beach a positive way to start the morning i'm just getting ready to and then heading off to open day oh yeah you've got a, a great day up there at the at uh, yeah with the markets, Brisbane markets, isn't it? I think it's called or something. Um, so you've got an excellent day up there for it, Jessica. And we're just about to have the sun come over the horizon. This is as good a vantage point as any, I think. Just here. Let's have a look. And you can have, for those that are not, don't have clear weather, or for those that are stuck in, um, stuck in bed. <laughs> 
You can watch the sunrise, courtesy of the uh, marvels of modern technology. <laughs> so, any minute now, it's going to break. Right. Could ride a little bit further whilst I'm waiting for it, but then it'll probably um, come over the horizon, and I'll miss it. It's funny to see how many people it's. Uh, I passed with cameras this morning and st standing on the uh, sidewalk or on the uh, down right on the beach on the sand. Um, Jessica, where you used to live by the beach, whereabouts was that? Was that here on the coast? Um, but yeah, it's funny because I don't normally see so many people with the, the, the phones out taking photos, but this morning is, uh, is amazing. About 30 minutes ago, when it was quite dark, I got some really great photos of the first bits of dawn down at Palm Beach. Really, really magnificent. So, Southport, okay, yeah. It's even Jessica, it's even better living um, down the southern end of the coast, closer to the beach. The beach is, is more pleasant here, um, calmer, safer, uh, greener, lots more trees, and that different vibe, southern end of the coast. It's definitely a uh, fantastic vibe. It's really, you know. There's a, there's a polarity, I guess, between... It's almost like this coast has two halves between the top and the bottom, so... Come on, Sunrise. I paid money for this. <laughs> it's got to be... It'll be happening soon. I could have ridden a little bit further, actually. Well, I'm going to, but I mean, I could have ridden a bit further before the sun broke the horizon. Um... Yes, Jessica, you agree, yep, yep. Southern End's definitely more relaxed vibe. Uh, people are more environmentally aware, I think. Um, just have a nicer nicer vibe to them. Northern End of the coast tends to be um, more industrial, business-oriented. Sort of, it's a bit more like Brisbane in that it's a bit more hectic. And, you know, Southern End of the coast, people are a bit more, you know, relaxed and, yeah, so... That's my observations. <laughs> so, not saying that there's not some nice spots at the top end of the coast, but I just find as you go south, it's it's nicer. And then you head over the border, and here comes the sun. Uh, and yeah, you head over the border, and you get some magnificent areas in northern New South Wales there. So, here we go. The sun is breaking the horizon. Brought to you live by Harry Bowman on a bicycle. <laughs> And uh, if you're not watching it live, of course you can watch this at any time later on my timeline. I might even put it up on YouTube if it's good enough. Yesterday's ride was really good. I was happy with how the, uh, the video and the audio quality came out, so I think that'll probably go up on YouTube as well. So it's just a little bit hard when I'm, um, I'm watch, looking at the sun and then I'm looking back at the, the screen and I've got the, in with the sunglasses on, I've got the glare of the sun in my eyes. So, there we go. It's looking fairly uh, magnificent. So, I'm at North Burley Beach at the moment, uh, nearly, um, nearly up at, uh, actually I should have, now, now I just realised where I should have filmed this from, I would have had just enough time to get to it, from the uh, Miami headland up there, that would have actually been the perfect spot. But uh, I'll know for next time. Learning as I go. So, talking about learning as I go, now that the sun's coming up, we've got a bit more light. Let's reverse back here a bit. And go a little bit further up to the Miami... Um, what do we call it? Miami uh, boardwalk. No, it's not a boardwalk, it's a walkway. So, it's really nice too. They have uh, every Sunday morning. Miami Organic Market, entire market is organic food. That's uh, at the Miami High School. And they have some vegan goodies there. They have vegan brownies there that are absolutely fantastic. I have been known to grab a couple of them for breakfast if I'm in the area. So, um, yeah, highly recommend that. So, just riding up to the northern end 
of this walkway. And uh, there's a council worker back there cleaning the public toilets and geez they use some strong chemicals. Just got a big whiff of them. They really chemical the hell out of it to put up with all the the abuse it gets if that's the right word public toilets uh, yes not not the sort of job I'd really want to be doing but somebody has to be cleaning them so so now I'm on the road just a little bit of road here it takes me down to another pathway which connects back to the next pathway which goes along the beach. There's a bump. That's a bump. Okay. Alright, so now I'm riding beside, ooh, beside the Gold Coast Highway. And of course I'm passing a guy riding down beside the highway there on the skateboard, as you do. I think the funniest thing, just thinking about passing people on the side of the highway, was driving to Brisbane one morning, and it was it one afternoon? Mm, anyway, driving to Brisbane, that much I remember correctly. And uh, I passed, I think it was morning, yeah. I passed a girl dressed in a stormtrooper outfit, walking along the side of the M1, and no shoes, no, now, I mean, if you're gonna wear a Stormtrooper outfit, you need the boots. <laughs> they should be vegan boots, but you need the boots. Um, just barefoot. And I thought, how do you end up walking along the side of the M1 <laughs> in a Stormtrooper outfit? Can't wait to hear the backstory on that one, <laughs> if that's what, they, that's how they describe it. How I ended up at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> come around, oh yes being greeted by lots of orange towards the beachfront there. So here we go. Ooh. Past the Miami Caravan Park, one of the few remaining caravan parks in the area. Yes, random is right, Jessica. Yeah, <clears throat> very random. Or a couple of times now, passing cyclists on the M1 at night with no lights on. Right, not road cyclists, just riding mountain bikes and I'm just astounded how dangerous that is and it's illegal because you're not meant to ride beside the M1 on a bicycle in any case. So here we go, Boom, that's putting sun in your eye <laughs> and we're on to, oh it's quiet here, wow, I'm surprised, on to the beautiful um, pathway that runs not only maybe a kilometre or two along here. I'll just go to the end of this path, finish my recording at the end of this path and then continue on heading north um, without any <laughs> live stream. Let's just go here, have a look at what we have got. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Let's give a, uh, take the phone out of the mount, give a view. There's Surfer's Paradise, or Sufferer's Parasite, as I like to call it. And then to the south, to the hill that I should have probably filmed from just there. But anyway, I'll do that another time. And how peaceful is this, if I wasn't talking? <laughs> just fantastic, isn't it? Calm Ocean is... Uh, yeah, calm ocean is pretty good. One of the things, I was brought up beside the ocean. I was born, literally born in a hospital in Sydney. Um, by expiration, love it. Thanks, Rebecca, that's great. I was literally born in a hospital um, in Sydney beside the ocean. Um, lived in a house beside the ocean in Sydney. And then when we moved to the Gold Coast in 1970, um, also, uh, purchased a house fairly close to the ocean but well we could hear the ocean in the distance it was still it was in Palm Beach um, 
but we could just hear it at night. And my dad, still, he'll be 78 uh, next month, still goes down and surfs during the week, uh, which is a magnificent ride to surf ski. And um, he was a big, always been a big believer in the healing powers of the ocean. He used to say, you know, if you had any um, ailments to go down into the salt water, the salt water would, um, would be the cure for most things. So, and when I was, um, so I grew up around um, sailboards was the big thing, skis. I never took to surfing, I took to sailboarding, catching waves on sailboards. I used to um, actually teach sailboarding as a teenager and um, at a higher school. And I, uh, I uh, dad would, uh, we'd all go out and sailboard together, my dad, my brother and myself. We had a trailer, uh, had about six sailboards. We had a thing called a sinker, which when you stop moving, it actually doesn't float. It actually sits below the surface of the water, extremely fast. Dad built most of them. He's very, very talented. <laughs> built most of the, the uh, boards, the skis, uh, even the, uh, we had a, a folding tri that he, um, that he actually built as well, <laughs> trimaran. Uh, Ian Farrier designed trailer tri, amazing thing. It took him two years to build it, and uh, yeah, six berth, and we would sail around in that. So, quite a talented man, my old man. Built the last house that they lived in, tri triple story um, pole home on the side of a hill in, in uh, Crumman Valley. So, it's not much he can't do. He's also restored numerous cars, and my first two cars actually, that he. Um, he restored. So, very, very talented gentleman. So, very hard working. And to this day, still out and about every day uh, working on the gardens of the property and uh, just, yeah, quite amazing. So, okay, guys, I'm live again. In the background is Surface Paradise Beach. I'm going to ride north through Surface Paradise up to McIntosh Island Park where we had our uh, vegan luck in the park last month. So, uh, as I like to call Surface Paradise, Sufferers Parasite. So, um, there we go. We're looking at Pepper's Resort there, the Alunga building just there. And uh, where's the Q1? Well, the Q1 is actually over here. Q1 is hiding there behind Peninsula High Rise. So. Okay, so let's go for a uh, ride through here, if I can get this on here. And we'll go up to McIntosh Island Park, take you for a tour around there, because that's absolutely magnificent around there. So, still fairly quiet, quiet Sunday morning here on surface. And just come along the boardwalk here. This is a beautiful, smooth area for riding. So... Good morning, Christine. Thank you for watching. And not many people on the streets or, or around the place. A few people out jogging. Um, what did you say there? Awesome. Live is so great. It is fantastic, isn't it? Feels feels like you're you're with me here with me almost. Okay this guy here. So far this morning, I've ridden from Crumman Valley, done 24 kilometres to get to surface. Left there at about, um, let's see, about an hour and a quarter ago. It's now 7am. And got a magnificent day happening here. Um, the hardest bit is just to read the comments as they come up. Your writing is inspirational. <laughs> Thank you, that's great. I'm pleased to hear that. Um, and yes, Teresa says, what a beautiful day it is. So, it is indeed. So, great day for a ride. Now, an interesting thing about Surface Paradise, which um, I guess you'd consider the tourist what is the tourist sort of mecca for the Gold Coast? Is it? It was originally called 
Elston. He changed his name, or his name was changed to Serpent's Paradise in, um, I'm not sure when, 40s, 50s, but originally it was named as a suburb as Elston, named after Bernie Elston, who built the first hotel in the area. So there's a little bit of trivia for you. I wonder how many tourists that come here know that. They could have been visiting Elston instead of suff the sufferers parasite, as I call it. Okay, so I'm just going to go past a few people here. Thank you. And hi. Now what's what we got? Uh, hi, weather looks good. Weather looks good. Five degrees here. Wow. Chris, where are you? Where it's five degrees. This is going to be about a five minute ride to get up to McIntosh Island Park along the, the boardwalk here, which is magnificent. Magnificent part of Australia to ride along. So, with the beach to my right, and uh, because it's a Sunday morning, it's fairly quiet. passing a mixture of different nationalities, hearing different languages, seeing people wearing different styles of clothing from different cultures. Oh yeah. Yep, so we have quite a multicultural mix here. Um, Bacchus March, okay, Bacchus March. That's where you are, Chris. That's uh, Victoria, isn't it? I think I've got that right. Anyway, well, hope this warms you up a bit, Chris, and you feel a bit warmer. <laughs> so. Just past a guy with his shirt off doing lift-ups and that on the gym there. Gym equipment. Right. What else can I tell you about this area? Let me tell you a little bit about the the high rises, because there's something interesting about them. High rise construction is interesting in that technically they float. They're built to move. If they weren't built to move, then there'd be issues with stress fractures and, and stuff like that. So the way that they're built is that they actually sit on a sand base and it allows them to move around. And uh, also an interesting thing is that fighting fires is an issue in high rises above the seventh floor. Because, oh, okay, I've just seen footpath is, footpath is closed ahead. I've got to do a double back just up to this... Uh, thing here and just go along, um, just go along the road here, we're onto the road, this is where it gets exciting, <laughs> and which is actually the way I normally come when I come up to McIntosh Island Park, but I was going to go along the footpath, but they're doing some footpath work there, I'm about a minute away from the park, so bear with me guys, it'll be worth It'll be worth sticking around because the park I'm riding to is the is a park that they actually close off part of it when they have the indie car race here on the coast. They use part of it for the pits, which is a bit a bit disappointing when you consider how much animal uh, life, mainly bird life, but also turtles. When you consider how much animal life there is. In the park, I must say I'm not a fan of the Indy at all. It disappoints me that they they close it off and that they make all that noise, which would no doubt disturb a lot of the animal life there. But what are they doing up here? Hopefully I can get across the bridge that connects. Soon find out. Okay. Thank you. 
Uh, um, Chantel, thank you for joining us. And uh, Chris, yes, looks great there. It is great here. I'm up near Main Beach now, having come through surface. And to my left is the park that I'm about to ride over a beautiful bridge to get to. And you guys can join me on that. So, just coming up to it now. Turning left onto the what it looks like sort of a massive sort of suspension bridge sort of thing. This will take us across the water into the glorious Macintosh Island Park and if we're lucky we might actually see some peacocks. We might see um, some of the bird life that's in here, which is really quite magnificent. So let's have a look what we've got. Let's ride around this park. So if you're on the coast, this puck is actually, quite amazingly, it's usually quite very quiet. Even during the day when we have vegan lux in the park here, it's like a lot of people don't know this place exists. Which is surprising, considering its size, considering um, peacefulness, considering its location right next to surface. So I don't know how it gets avoided, how people don't seem to know it's here, but somehow it happens. Um, so let's have a look around here. This is where the peacocks, you get a lot of bird life in that here. See, Christine says, um, Christine's lying in bed thinking about going for a ride to warm up. Chantel says, beautiful morning. I'm exercising vicariously through you while lying in my warm bed. Um, <laughs> sorry, Chantel, but <laughs> I, please excuse me for um, having of for reading that message another way. <coughs> a bit of innuendo. <laughs> I won't expand on that, but uh, if you've got an imagination, I'm sure you can figure that one out. Um, <laughs> it's going to be the post of the day, I think, for me. Exercising vicariously through your wife's lying in bed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, I amused myself. There's one of the lakes there. I'm just going to... Uh, Actually, should I ride around the northern end? No. It's nicer if I come back down this end here because we've got all these little boardwalks, waterfalls. Where's the peacocks? Where's the peacocks hiding? They've got to be around here somewhere. So, <laughs> I'm glad you guys got a laugh out of it. I'm still, I'm going to have to go and have a couple of cold showers or at least do an ice bucket challenge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, look. So we've got this lovely, uh, you know, this lovely, all these lovely little lakes here. It's actually a little bit hard to ride in this section. On, but let's ride around here. I mean, I'm actually riding right through the park now, off, off, the, off the beaten track. <laughs> so have a look at this place. It's just got these tracks from around here, these cute little bridges. It's fantastic. We'll just go slowly over this one. And beautiful waterfall up here. This waterfall here actually used as the backdrop for some of the vegan life photos. We've had a whole group of people standing here. Um, yes, it is a beautiful um, hidden gem, but not so hidden. Just immediately to the north of Sufferer's Parasite. <laughs> or, as I'm going to call it from now on, Elston. <laughs> people go, what are you talking about? There's the bridge you can see that I rode in on, <laughs> and that, yeah, well, must be my mind this morning, is something about the horse, uh, the horse you rode in on, there's a bridge you rode in on, anyway, <laughs> and the, I'm heading back down towards the southern end of the park now, so, um, so serene, it is serene, isn't it, it's magnificent, let's do one more lap before I end this, uh, this live broadcast, and I'll I'll actually upload it later, put it on YouTube as well. I'll join it with the first one I did this morning when I rode along Burley Beach. I'm up to now, 26 kilometres. Hard to believe I can go from my home in Crumman Valley to here. It's only 26 kilometres. <laughs> okay, I think that'll mean I'll probably, well, by the time I get back today, it'll be over 50 kilometres I will have ridden. So, 
and it's just a smooth ride. If you're curious and you haven't watched my live videos where I'm riding the, the new Wallarang before, that beeping noise you can hear is the electronic gear shifting. I'm doing that manually. It does have an auto gearbox, but I prefer manual shifting because the auto gearbox tends to select one gear higher than I like to ride in. I like to pedal harder and um, I will make no jokes about that. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, looks like the ideal place to do yoga. Yeah, what a spot to do yoga. Yeah, what a spot. Fantastic. Let's come around the northern side here. Northern side leads into Main Beach. There's high rises. You might be able to see through the trees there a little bit. <coughs> so we'll come around. It's going up a bit of an incline. <coughs> and yeah, very peaceful this morning. Morning. Good, how are you? back around the centre of the park and then I can finish off there. <coughs> Alright, you can see why we have vegan lux here because it's so peaceful. People, we'll have a vegan luck here and people will still be here at four or five in the afternoon just lazing on, on um, lazing under the trees on blankets, you know, not wanting to, not wanting to go anywhere, just feeling like they've found us a small slice of heaven. And this is just one of these. Actually, the Gold Coast has these little pockets of um, serene parks. Another suburb that has a lot of them just waiting to be discovered is Rabina. Rabina is uh, really magnificent. You just ride through there on a bike and you just go, oh, I wonder where this little track goes. It's just a little park hidden away that nobody seems to use. So, <laughs> just magnificent, you know. Um, it's one of my favourite suburbs because it's so green and it was designed from the, the get-go as a, as a very, um, you know, as a very well-designed area with lots of parks and walkways and, um, you know, just not like a traditional sort of um, Gold Coast suburb like the older suburbs where the houses were on small blocks of land and, and they didn't seem to know what, what a tree was. <coughs> which actually happens in a lot of the newer suburbs. So I've taken you for a couple of laps around McIntosh Island Park. Just going back across the suspension bridge now over the water here on, what are we, Sunday, the, September the 24th today, isn't it? 2016, supposedly the middle of winter. Hmm, <laughs> I think somebody didn't get the memo. So... <laughs> Switched back to the front camera. Oh, Venice, you're watching. Excellent. <laughs> and uh, Gopal as well. Nice to have you with us. And um, thanks, Chris. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And Elaine, thank you for joining us. I'm going to finish off now so you can watch the, um, the live stream on my timeline at any time later. So thanks for joining us, guys. There's some high rises in the background. And uh, we'll see you soon. Live vegan and prosper.